Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will share the five signs of relationship that you can't handle in today's video. Let's get started. 1. The fear of commitment. Ever wondered why some people seem to jump from one relationship to another? Could be they're scared of commitment. Yes, the big C that can sometimes feel like a ball and chain, stifling your freedom. But here's the thing. Commitment isn't the end of the world. In fact, it can be a stepping stone towards a more fulfilling life. It's like signing up for a marathon. You might be apprehensive at first, thinking about the long road ahead, the effort, the sweat. But once you commit, you start to enjoy the journey more than you ever thought could. Now, if the thought of commitment sends you running for the hills, it might be a sign that you're not ready for a relationship. This fear, often known as commitment phobia, can severely impact your relationships, causing them to be short-lived and unfulfilling. Commitment isn't a prison, it's a promise of a shared future. If you're scared of that, maybe a relationship isn't for you right now. Two, the perpetual seeker. Ever met someone who seems to always be on the lookout for the one? That could be a sign they're not ready to settle. The perpetual seeker, always searching for a flawless partner, never quite content with the present relationship, may not be ready for the commitment A demands. It's like chasing a mirage in the desert, believing the perfect partner exists without a single flaw. But here's the reality. No one is perfect. And part of being in a relationship is accepting your partner, warts and all. It's about making promises and, more importantly, keeping them. It's about being there for them, through thick and thin, through their best days and their, if you're always looking for the next best thing, constantly seeking an elusive perfection, you might be missing out on something beautiful right in front of you. Oh, three, fear of letting go. Ever felt like you're on a roller coaster of emotions when it comes to love? That could be because you're scared to let go. You know, love is a bit like standing on the edge of a cliff. It's breathtaking, it's exhilarating, and it's downright terrifying. It's that fear of the unknown that can paralyze us, that keeps us clinging onto the safety of the cliff edge rather than taking the leap into the wild, wide open. When we're unsure of what we want, it can be all too easy to keep our options open, to keep our hearts guarded. But relationships, real, meaningful relationships, require us to be open, to be vulnerable. They require us to let someone in, yet that fear of letting go, of losing ourselves in someone else, can be a clear sign that we're not quite ready for a relationship. So, if you're not ready to let someone in, it might be best to hold off on the relationship for now. A four, the drama of singlehood. Ever felt like being single is filled with more drama than a soap opera? That could be because you're not ready for a relationship. Yes, you heard it right. When every twist and turn of your single life seems like a melodrama, it might be a sign that you're not prepared to be part of a duo. Now, you might ask, why does being single seem so dramatic? Well, it's likely because you're not yet content with yourself. You see, being content with oneself is a prerequisite to being content with someone else. It's about being able to enjoy your own company, making peace with your solitude, and appreciating your own quirks and idiosyncrasies. It's about understanding that your happiness does not depend on someone else but you. So if the roller coaster ride of singlehood feels too much to handle, it's time to pause and reflect. After all, if you can't handle the drama of being single, you might not be ready for the drama of a relationship. Five, fear of being alone. Ever felt scared of being alone? That could be because you're not ready for a relationship. This fear, my friends, can be a significant sign that you're not quite prepared to take the relationship plunge. You see, a relationship is not a tool to escape loneliness, but a commitment to share your life with another. It's a natural desire to want companionship, but depending on a relationship for your happiness can lead to an unhealthy dynamic. Instead, it's crucial to find comfort and joy in your own company. Being alone doesn't have to mean being lonely. It can be a time of self-discovery, personal growth, and finding contentment within oneself. Only when you're comfortable being alone can you truly be ready to share your life with another without losing yourself in the process. If you're afraid of being alone, it might be best to work on loving yourself first before jumping into a relationship. 
So before we conclude, I want to emphasize that there's no harm in taking it slow when it comes to relationships. Remember, it's not a rush, but a voyage of self-exploration. Our content has been of any help, and you wish to see similar videos, make sure to click the like button. Your feedback and shares are highly appreciated. They provide us with insights on what content you value the most. Your support empowers us to continue producing more content to assist you in overcoming life's hurdles. Therefore, don't overlook to like, comment and spread our videos. We're eternally grateful for your ongoing support.